What's good guys, it's your boy phone tech over here with another video and this one guys is going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 12.2 to an iPhone SE on iOS 10.3.3 So as always guys, stay tuned Alright guys, gonna bring up both devices here iOS 12.2, iOS 10.3.3 So that was identical actually, both phones were the same when it comes to putting up. Just gonna jump into the phones. Okay, was about the same to be honest. So right away this phone dropped by 1%. Just wanna say guys, this phone has a higher wear level, so it's gonna lose more battery and iOS 12 drains more battery than iOS 10, so it's gonna be the case in the video. So we're gonna start a test here with the calendar. Fast on iOS 12, going for settings. And I was actually faster than iOS 12, good stuff going for phone dialer, faster than iOS 12, going for the weather app, faster than iOS 12, going for clock, iOS 12 again, amazing, going for photos, and about the same, going for Safari. Just gonna load up the common both devices. And gonna go for TV and loading is or okay was actually millisecond store faster than iOS 12 good stuff going for App Store definitely iOS 12 iTunes Store so this time iOS 10 was better going for third party apps both were smooth swiping left so Geekbench 4 exactly the same going for Instagram So never my Instagram is crashing when I was 10. Going for Google Earth. That was a missing or so fast when I was 10. Going for and to the benchmark. The same exactly. Going for temper and tool. Definitely iOS 10 is faster here. The difference isn't big. Both were really quick. Leaving, going for Mario Run. So Super Mario appears first on iOS 10. Okay, so the difference was minimal, but iOS 10 was so faster. Going for Jetpack Joyride. Okay, that was faster on iOS 12. Going for Snapchat. Identical, maybe iOS 12 is faster. So now guys for some multitasking here. Snapchat, Jetpack Joyride. Mario Run. Temperon 2. Up to Benchmark. Google Earth. I will skip Instagram because this phone crashed. Geekbench 4. iTunes. App Store. Safari, photos, clock, weather, phone, settings, and finally calendar. So both phones didn't refresh as any app at all, so both are really good, even with 2 gigs of RAM in 2019, now 12. I, the iPhone is still a beast when it comes to RAM management. Now guys going for a Geekbench 4 test. All right, guys, so both phones are done here. So um, I'm going to say that the single and multi-core scores in iOS 12.2 is better than iOS 10.3.3. So yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the phone was really fast, but the battery is definitely better than iOS. <laughs> on iOS 10. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison. I want to say, guys, the RAM management and the performance, CPU performance was like the same, basically. And uh, apart from the battery life is worse, guys. One thing is that my phone on iPhone iOS 12.2 has a worse battery life. The other one has mm, like a perfect battery on iOS 10.3.3. So it does differ, but still iOS 10.3.3 definitely has a better battery life. So that's the only down to it. So downside to iOS 12, RAM and CPU is still perfect. So yeah, guys, it's still a good phone. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more con and peace out.